Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install GOG games onto the Steam Deck. So the Steam Deck only really allows Steam games to be run on the Steam OS. However, I'm going to show you how to add third-party launchers and games onto this. So the first thing you have to do is press the Steam button here. We're going to go to the Power button here. I'm going to switch to Desktop. This is going to bring us back into the back-end Linux Desktop so that we can install these third-party launchers. So the one that I recommend that we use is called Heroic. The Heroic Games Launcher is an open source alternative to the Epic and GOG launchers. Firstly, we're going to double click on Steam and make sure that this is running in the background so that we can access the virtual keyboard. Then what we're going to do is to press the Steam button here, click on the Discover button, and that's going to open up our application store. Then we're going to go to the search menu here and then hold down Steam and then X. And that's going to bring up our on-screen keyboard. Then we're going to type H-E-R and enter. And that's going to bring up the Heroic Games Launcher here. So once I've selected that, I'm going to press the Install button. And then that's going to start the installation process. So just let that download and install. So once that's installed, we can go ahead and press the Launch button. Then we're going to be met with this account screen. So we have the Epic Game Store that we can add. We can also add GOG games as well. So all you need to do is press the Login button and then enter your username and password. And then when that's complete, then you'll be able to go into the library and then access all of your games here. So the next thing I recommend that you do is to install Flat Seal so that you can give permission for this software to install onto your SD card. So we're going to go to the Discover Center again, and then in Search, we're going to open up the keyboard. And then we're going to do a search for Flat Seal, and then press Install here. And this allows you to manage the Flat Pack permissions so that it can install onto the SD card. So once that's done, we're going to press Launch. And now we have a list of applications on the left. I'm going to tap on Heroic Games Launcher. And then basically what we're going to do, we're going to add our SD card. So if you don't know what the SD card address is, we're going to open up the File Explorer here. And we're just going to scroll down until we find the SD card. This one is called Primary, but I'm going to see the actual name of the folder here. So basically you want to make a note of what your SD card is named according to the system and then copy and paste that in. So here we're going to go back to here. We're going to go back to File System and then press the Other Files folder here. And then we're going to enter that file path. Now that's done, we can now quit. So now we're going to go ahead and launch Heroic. Now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and install this. And now I have the choice of putting it on my SD card. And then we just basically find the Run folder. And we've got Media. And then this is our SD card. So what I recommend that you do is create a new folder here called Heroic and press Create. And then choose this folder as the installation location. And then you can go ahead and press the Install button. So now if we want to be able to access the Heroic Games Launcher from within Steam, we need to open up Steam on the desktop view. And we need to go to Games, and then add a non-Steam game to my library. And make sure we press the checkbox next to Heroic Games Launcher, and then press Add Selected Programs. Then we're going to close this. Then we'll go back to Gaming Mode here. So once we're there, we're going to go to Steam, and we're going to head to Library. And then we're going to find non-Steam games here. We're going to find the Heroic Games Launcher. We're going to tap on that. And now that's going to launch Heroic within the in-game Steam interface. So we don't quite have full controller support here, but it will be added in the future. Now I can do things like an install a game. I'm going to install Wheels of Aurelia. Here I can choose the install path. I can now choose the internal solid state drive, or I can choose the SD card, which I've given permission for, and put in my Heroic folder, and press Choose, and Install. So that's going to start that install process onto the SD card. The next thing we should do is tap on the Settings menu here. We're going to make sure that we minimize Heroic after game launch, so that when we launch a game, it doesn't keep hanging about. And then when we go back to our library, I'm going to play the game now. So if you ever get a bug that the wine settings can't be found, you can just go to settings menu here. You can just go to here and then select a different version of Proton and then switch it back as well. And then when you go back and then you'll be able to launch the game normally. So just press play now and it's going to use the correct version of Proton. So this game has now launched. So now you can get any Epic Games or GOG games running on the Steam Deck. So here I've got Cyberpunk 2077 and this is the GOG.com version. What I want to do is to press the play now button. And we're going to go fix this issue here. We're just going to go to settings and then just tweak the proton level back to experimental. Then we're going to load up Cyberpunk 2077 and press play now. So here we're now able to get games like Cyberpunk 2077, even though they are the GOG versions working on the Steam Deck. So I'm not playing the Steam version, I'm playing the GOG.com version. And this opens up a whole new world of games on that particular library. Please also make sure to check out the Steam Deck article on the PC Gaming Wiki website. This is going to contain all of the tips and tricks to getting Steam launches and other games working on the Steam Deck. We also have compatibility tables on the PC Gaming Wiki website for compatibility for Steam and non-Steam games as well. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Steam Deck tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. 
like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.